Hey everybody, this is Seth. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make special Spanish characters uh, in any kind of word processing program. This goes for Word or if you're doing stuff online. Um, most programs will recognize these, uh, these shortcuts on a Mac. So uh, let me just get on down to Word here. I'm going to open that up. <clears throat> I already got my document ready to go. Uh, we're going to start by talking about how to make uh, accent marks over vowels. So um, accent marks will only go over vowels and they're pretty straightforward. You just hold down option, the shortcut is option E and then I press the vowel that I want. So I'm gonna do A and that gives me my vowel with an accent mark. Um, so uh, if I wanna do E, option E, E, right? And I, option E, I, and so on. So then you end up with your A, E, E, O, U, um, and you're ready to go for any kind of accenting that you need to do. Now, occasionally you will need um, an umlaut, but it is pretty rare. Um, an umlaut is just that double dot over um, a vowel. So, um, I will show you how to do that. It's option U and then press uh, whatever value you want. In this case, you'll only see it over U's in the Spanish language. So one example is the word pinguino. Option U, pinguino, penguin. Okay, and then to get a tilde, which uh, tilde is just, you know, this little mark right here, only a little bit more squashed. Uh, to get that, um, over an N, you just press option N. All of these are triggered by option, you'll, you'll notice. Option N, and then N again. So you might say something like, Feliz cumple años. Happy birthday. All right. Uh, one of the things that I actually think is pretty, uh, pretty good about the Spanish language in terms of grammar is... Um, when you have an exclamation or a question, they're triggered at the beginning of the sentence with an upside down question mark or exclamation mark. Uh, for me, that's really helpful because while I'm doing the reading, I can actually, uh, I, I know what sort of inflection to use in, ahead of time in, instead of getting to the end of the sentence and realizing, oh, that was a question. I should have done it, you know, in, in a question inflection. So, uh, in order to do that, uh, Exclamation marks are just option uh, plus one, and that gives you an upside down um, exclamation mark. So you can say something like, que padre. How cool. And then if you want to do an upside down question mark, it's a little bit more of a combination, but uh, it's still triggered by option. You do option, shift, question mark, and that gives you your upside down question mark uh, in case you want to ask something like, como, option E, esta, option A for that accident mark, marked A, and then you get, como estas, how are you? All right, so that is the shortcut way of doing things. If you feel like you'd like to do it more manually and go into a menu, you have to go to insert, and then you go down to symbol, and you need to make sure that the font is under normal text because otherwise you're going to get a bunch of weird symbols like this. So make sure it's under normal text. And then you have to hunt around uh, in order to find those. So you'll see that we have the A with an accent right here, right there. And then they have different directions, but it goes back to the right. Um, and then E, so I, O, and U. To get that tilde n, so you get the ñ uh, for undercase ñ, um, and then if you want an uppercase ñ, you can uh, grab the big one. So moving down uh, to get that upside down question mark, you're going to just navigate over to here, and same thing with exclamation mark, 
If you're interested in the keyboard sh shortcut, it'll tell you right here, option plus one, uh, which is what we just picked up. So I hope this was useful. Uh, this is also available in a Google Doc, which I will send to you guys. Have fun with it.